one strange afternoon with dark clouds, heavy rain, and thunder. The flickering emergency lights and unsettling shadows cast along the empty corridors. Lisa, a high school student, was alone in her classroom during detention, unaware of the strange events that were about to unfold. Lisa's friend Mark had left the classroom just before the lockdown was announced. He needed to use the restroom and promised to be back soon. Little did Lisa know that this seemingly innocuous decision would plunge her into a terrifying ordeal. The intercom crackled to life and a chilling voice spoke, lockdown, in effect. Do not leave your classrooms. Await further instructions. Panic washed over Lisa as she realized that Mark was not with her and she had no idea where he was or what had triggered this lockdown. Fear gripped at her as she waited alone in the dimly lit classroom. Minutes turned into hours and she could no longer contain her worry for Mark's safety. She decided to venture out and search for him, despite the ominous instructions. As Lisa cautiously left the classroom and stepped into the hallway, she was met with an unsettling sight. The school was eerily empty, devoid of both students and teachers. The emergency lights continued to flicker, casting bizarre, shifting shapes on the walls. The sense of isolation was overwhelming. She called out for Mark, her voice echoing through the empty halls, but there was no response. It was as though the school itself had swallowed everyone up, leaving her utterly alone. Doubt gnawed at her. Had Mark ever existed, or was he a product of her imagination? As Lisa continued to explore the deserted school, she found more and more clues that suggested something was deeply wrong. Classroom doors stood ajar, revealing scenes of chaos inside. Papers were strewn about, desks were overturned, and it looked as if a whirlwind of destruction had swept through. A computer screen in one classroom displayed a cryptic message. They are not gone. They are among us. Each discovery deepened the sense of foreboding that had enveloped her. Lisa's heart raced as she confronted the possibility that she might be alone in this surreal nightmare. Had she imagined Mark? Was this a waking dream? Or was there something truly malevolent lurking in the empty school? The intercom crackled to life once more, and the voice from before returned, more haunting than ever. You are not alone, it whispered, chilling Lisa to her core. Desperation and fear gripped her as she searched for answers in the deserted school. She had to find out if she was truly alone. And if not, who or what else shared this nightmarish reality with her? As Lisa delved deeper into the mysteries of the empty school, the line between imagination and reality blurred, leaving her with an unshakable sense of dread and the burning question. Was she truly alone in this nightmare? Or were there unseen forces at play, just waiting to reveal themselves?